In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to properly connect your Beast Class or X Class quadcopter utilizing AS150 connectors. The way I have it arranged is my anti spark is on my drone because the anti spark packages are more expensive and they contain fewer connectors, while all my batteries have no anti spark because I can buy these ones at a higher quantity and cheaper price per unit. I have the anti-spark on the positive side only because the positive side is on the left side and I'm right-handed so if I want to unplug this in an emergency I'll be better suited to be able to do it quickly. Um, so I don't think it matters whether you put it on the positive or the negative side. Now um, here's how I would normally connect this. I would do the series connection first and then the ground connection. It doesn't matter which of those you do. And then I would do the anti-spark last. And notice how there was no spark. And then I would unplug with the anti-spark. But if I unplugged, say, at the ground connection, there will be no spark because the capacitors are already charged up and there is not any current flow when you're unplugging. But there is current flow when you're plugging in, which I can demonstrate. So let's do the ground connection next. So there is a spark there. And then let's do the series connection last too. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, yeah. So let's say we plugged in this one first and this one. It really doesn't matter. All that matters is what's the last connection that you make. And so this one, no anti-spark. Definitely a good spark there. You could see some light coming through the red connector. And yeah, so basically you just want to make your last connection the one with the anti-spark connector. It doesn't matter where you're connecting it as long as you do this one last. And honestly, you can even have your anti-spark on your batteries instead. I forgot to mention, these are two 6S batteries, uh, 5,000 milliamp hour, and so together in series that's 12s 45 volts and the greater the voltage the wider the spark gap can be created when you're plugging things in so that's why it's essential to use an anti-spark connector if you don't use an anti-spark connector uh, you get these char marks on the tip of the connector where the arcing is occurring and over time that can damage the connector if you do it a few times it's okay because the actual contact area for these type of connectors is on the outside, not on the tip. So it's okay if you do it a few times.